Hello students, welcome to Learn Vector. Today we will be starting with yet another important topic related to cell and that is cell cycle and division. Okay, so it might interest you that there are n number of living organisms present on this earth surface. Now all the organisms ranging from the smallest to the largest organism, consider an example of the largest animal uh, like a blue whale starts its life from a single cell. That's right. Even the largest organism starts its life from a single cell. So you might think that how can a single cell give rise to such a large organism like a blue whale? The answer to this lies in two of the most important characteristics of a cell and that is their ability to grow and to divide. So these are the two main properties of a cell which gives rise to such a large organisms like a blue whale or even like human beings. Now, let us consider an example here. Here you can see a parent cell. Now, this parent cell, when it undergoes division, it forms two daughter cells. As you can see here, the parent cell is dividing and two new daughter cells are getting formed. So, this covers the first characteristic of the cell or the first important property of the cell that is its ability to divide. Now when you look closely, these daughter cells grow in size. These daughter cells tend to increase in size. And because of which, when they reach a sufficient size, even they eventually divide. So this covers the second important property as I said, which is growth. So these two properties that is division and growth occur simultaneously and one after the other that is alternately and this is how a single cell gives rise to millions of cells and these millions of cells form organs and give rise to an organism so that is why even we have learnt in the cell theory that all the cells arise from a pre-existing cell and this is true and how we have already seen here so in this chapter, we will be seeing all these processes that is of cell division, of cell cycle in details and we will be studying each and every processes quite minutely. Let's move on to our first subtopic of this chapter and that is cell cycle. Now, cell cycle is basically a sequence of events occurring in the life of a cell. We will be discussing what these sequence of events are in our coming sections but for the time being let us first understand what are the phases of this cell cycle. Now there are two phases involved in a cell cycle and these phases are interphase and second is the M phase or the mitotic phase. Let us first discuss about the interphase stage of the cell cycle. So interphase stage is the longest phase of a cell cycle. Now let me tell you an average duration of cell cycle of human cell uh, ranges for about 24 hours out of which 95% duration is taken alone by the interphase stage which corresponds to approximately 22 to 23 hours. So the interphase stage takes about 22 to 23 hours to complete. During this interphase stage, there are two important events which are occurring inside a cell or which is carried out by the cell. The first is cell growth and the second important event is the DNA replication. So first is cell growth and second is the DNA replication. Now it might amaze you that this interphase stage is further divided into subphases and these subphases are the first is the G1 phase or called as the gap 1 phase. The second phase is the S phase which is also called as the synthesis phase and the third phase is the G2 phase which is also called as the gap 2 phase. 